Two American astronauts who've been at the International Space Station nine months longer than originally planned are one step closer to coming home. Yes, after a handover, the crew is scheduled to splash down in the Gulf tomorrow evening. Mark Strassman explains their story. Ignition and lift off. Finally, the beginning of the end, launching an overdue homecoming for Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. After liftoff Friday night, their replacement crew, four fresh astronauts led by Commander Anne McLean, arrived at the space station early Sunday morning. Among the welcoming party, Wilmore and Williams. It was a, a wonderful day. Great to see our friends arrive. So thank you so much. After a short handover, Wilmore and Williams, along with NASA astronaut Nick Haig and Russian cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov, will board a different SpaceX capsule and return to Earth on Tuesday. People are always ready to get back home. Ken Bowersox, a former astronaut himself, now leads space operations for NASA. It's always a little bittersweet, uh, right? You miss your family, but you love being on space station. How do you think they've handled it, all the attention? Butch and Sonny have been great. I can't say enough positive things about them and how proud I am of them. Wilmore and Williams' space saga is unlike any in recent memory. Back in June, their ride to the ISS developed propulsion problems. Their original eight-day mission stretched into more than nine months. I'm looking forward to sitting across from them and hearing about uh, their perception of, of how things went and, and all about their time on orbit. And what a story they'll have to tell. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Atlanta.